Hello, boys and girls. Today, as you see, we are going to be drawing a puppy. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is get yourself a paper pencil, maybe have some crayons or color pencils or markers out. And then make sure that you are in some bright light too. And your video is set up so you can see what I'm doing and you can follow along. Now I'm going to open up my sketch real quick. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to start by drawing a circle, a fairly large circle. Once you have your circle, you're going to start out by, now my guidelines are all going to be in red, and after that, I'm going to sketch um, actually, I'm going to do outline in black. After you have your circle nice and neat, if you need to, you can pause the video anytime and then restart it when you're ready, fast forward, or rewind when you need to as well. Can't do that in class. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start by drawing a circle on the right hand side, somewhat in the middle, and on the right hand side. Now, if your ass is wrong, this is more of an oval. And then you want to mimic or create the same oval on the other side. Now remember, I'm sketching. Sketching is like making lines one after the other. Now these are just our guidelines. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw your upside down triangle for your nose. A straight line across in between the eyeballs and then a line down. Now sometimes I get these squiggly lines on my computer. It's I'll try my best to make sure I don't get them all the time, but it doesn't seem to be happening today. Let me just erase these marks. Okay. All right, once you have that, you're going to draw a curved line. To the left. Follow that line out a little bit, somewhere in the middle of the eye. Also the same thing on the right. And then you're going to connect them. But you're not going to connect them at the start of the line. You're going to kind of come a little bit inside of this curve line and curve up to the other side. Okay. I'm going to make a cute little tongue inside, which is a half circle. Half circle, okay. Go ahead and on the right, on the left side, create a curved line where you would make the smile marks. Uh, it's already starting to take shape. The next thing you're going to do is 
you're going to, let's see, make my drawing a little smaller. You're going to create a puppy's arms or arms and paws and legs and paws. Okay. I think puppies have legs, no arms, Mr. Earth. Okay. So what you're going to do is on the right side, you're going to make a curved line on the out. Kind of make like a heart on each side. Okay. And then you are going to make the ball. Just kind of make a oval. And then. Okay. And then. You're going to make another curve line on that side. And on the right side, you can do the same thing. I like the butterfly. You're going to mimic what you see. It's not as perfect as a butterfly. Then we'll come out with the paws again. All right, just kind of half circle or half circle. Okay. The next thing you will do is you will bring down the shoulders uh, and the, actually not the shoulders, you bring down the legs. Okay. Bring that down. And go ahead and do it on the other side. Okay, and now we're going to make a collar. So go ahead and underneath the lip or the tongue, three, two, half circles, okay? And then after that, you want to create a circle underneath for the little um, tag. So we seem to be forgetting our tail and our um, ears. Okay. And we're going to add in a couple more different things. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is go on top and come straight up. And then make a curved line. And okay, like that. And we'll go ahead and fix that and add some shagginess to this dog later. Okay. So kind of match it onto the other side. Make a curved line. Kind of like you're making a beanie. All right, I see them coming together slowly. So go ahead and make a tail, which comes out in between right here, between the arm and, um, not the arm, again, it's down, between the two legs on the right side, come out, and again, the same kind of beam. All right, and then, there you go. Now, what you're going to do for the eye, okay, go back up and go to the face of the dog, and we're going to create a circle in the middle of the eye. The same thing on the other side. Go ahead and circle inside. Each eye close to the edge of the corner. Okay. 
Mona, you could pick which one you want to do. You want to make a spot over the puppy's one eye. Okay. That's my draft. All right, so let me switch over to a pen. A different type of pen for me, but you can continue to sketch because you're going to add on the shagginess of the dog. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to bring up my brush. I can use that with two. Let's see. This is a test. And the layer for me. Just in case I make a boo boo. All right. This is a test. Let's see. All right, I might want it a little thinner. So, first we'll find the right thing. Um, this is a felt tip pen. Let's see. So, I'm going to make for the shagginess. Shagginess, you're going to add kind of like curved lines next to each other. And again, gotta fix this up a little bit and neaten it up. On the other side, right, I'm gonna make a white part of the doggy. Bring that down, curve the line, curve the line, curve the line, and pull it. Now, on the sides of the face, you're gonna kind of curve the line. I don't think you're making like, uh, not really icicles, but maybe. I bring it along the face. Do it on the other side. Make sure you stay close to your guidelines. Okay. Do that on each part of the puppy. Oh, I'm getting that curved line on my a wavy line on my pen. Digital pens aren't always the best. Okay. Bring this straight down. There it lines. A wavy lines. I'm 
it nice and shaggy, right? Make some curved lines all around, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and then we'll do the tail, bring the line up, and then make it a little shaggy. Make some wavy lines. All right. And we want to be really, when we go to the face, we want to be really careful. Okay. So I'm going to try my best. Oops, this. Go ahead and outline all the lines you made. You can use a pencil, you can use a marker at this point. All right. Get that wavy line again, but I don't want a wavy line. Now you can color in because doggies, puppies have like a dark brown eye. All right, let's go to the other side. And your nose and all these areas. Be as neat as you can. All right, then you can do the collar. Yes. You're going to start to fill in some of the spots on the puppy. So over here, that ear is going to be black. There's going to be a spot right about here. Okay, and then you're gonna have a spot right about here. And maybe right here, okay? And the, there's going to be a white spot right here. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to get a darker. Right, darker. I'm going to fill in my eyeball patch or eye patch. Sorry, not an eyeball. Is that so? All right, I'm going to fill in that patch nice and dark. Take your time. All right, then you need to look at the ear. And you're going to fill that in as well. Uh, 
And the new. I'm gonna keep my panel smaller. Fill in the nose, fill in the mouth area. Mix up the eye a little bit. smaller marker or color pencil will do. Our crayons is okay. They can help too as long as they're pointy. Okay. So to also fill in this area. Right. And this little puppy has some areas where his whiskers will come out. Okay. All right. Now we can add some color if we'd like. So I'm going to use markers. You can use color pencils. You can use crayons, whatever you have handy. I'm uh -oh. going to look for my colors. Let's start with my tongue. I'm going to go with a lighter ink for now. And I'm going to add a new layer for me. And I'm going to drag it underneath. My other layers. Where else? Let's see. So, color in the tongue with a little light area. Go in with some red underneath. Okay, and then you can make the Color any color. I'm gonna pick maybe purple. I'm gonna make a light purple first. Make sure you're coloring in the lines. I'm gonna a darker one, okay? Uh, what color? We can do gold for the pendant in the middle. Wait, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think we're almost done. What we're going to do is, oh, don't forget to erase your pencil lines. That's for sure. What we're going to do is add a little bit of gray shading so the puppy has a little bit of character, a little bit of dimension. Let's 
some underneath his eyes. Now, a little bit over here on the side of his face. You can always get rid of those guidelines. We can do that very easily. Our guidelines are gone. So I want to go on. face, give him a little bit of personality, Looks like he's smiling, you can kind of focus on putting the smile marks with a little shadow too, maybe if you have a gray color pencil, a gray marker, or a gray crayon, any kind of gray, or well, even shading with the pencil will give it a little bit of character to a little bit of shadowing. All right, we can call him Spotty. Spotty's cute. All right, so I'm going to erase some of my lines. I'm going to sign my work. Seems like I've got the lines on some of my paper. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and my blabbing. I really hope that you're staying safe and I look forward to seeing your pictures of your puppies. You can always make different ears. You can make different eye shapes. You can make a different collar shape, different um, kind of dog with their ears on top, or you can even turn into a cat. It's up to you. All right. See you soon.